What's up guys, here's your video for Monday, body weight track. A reminder that the warm up is posted in a separate link at the top of each day's program. Let's dive into your strength. So we are gonna be doing three rounds of 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off through the three written movements. Then we'll take a two minute break and we're gonna repeat the same cycle again. So really great quality, good focus and intensity for three rounds, take a break then repeat that same thing. So let's take a look at our movements. We have a 20 second handstand hold. So our goal is to make sure we scale here for quality. The most difficult would be free space. Make sure you can control yourself and get 20 seconds in a row. Most will be either doing a handstand hold against the wall or doing a pike hold. All right, let's take a look at the pike hold. So the pike hold is gonna be either elevated or non-elevated. When I say elevated, that means you could put your back feet up onto a box, a chair, whatever it may be, and make this a little tougher. So regardless of if I'm elevated or not, I'm gonna have my hands out in front. Now from here, I'm gonna lift my hips and shift my hips directly over my shoulders. So I'm very light on my toes, I'm heavy on my hands, okay? I'm working to mimic a handstand by getting my hips directly over my shoulders. Always pressing the floor away, never soft at the elbow or the shoulder. I have nice wide fingers to give me lots of contact point with the floor. All right, so a pike hold can also be scaled down to a push-up hold, where we're gonna mimic a handstand by shifting our weight to the very tips of our toes, all right? This now becomes much more difficult for the upper body, which is what we want. Pushing that floor away, shifting the weight as far forward as we possibly can. The second movement, that once you've done your handstand holder scale of, is the plank Spider-Man. This plank Spider-Man is gonna bring me into a plank position on my forearms. And what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna bring my knee up into the outside, holding my center line. So I'm gonna try not to shift. So I'm gonna be in this plank position, okay, everything's tucked. I'm gonna bring the knee up into the outside one, up into the outside two. Uh, you guys check this out from the front. Now I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be squeezing, I'm gonna be squeezing, I'm holding that center line, meaning that I'm not shifting to make it happen. I'm holding right down the middle, squeeze, squeeze. I'm gonna try and get that knee all the way up to the elbow. 20 seconds of smooth and controlled. You're not necessarily going for speed, but going for tension, holding that center point. The last piece here, we have a 20 second half push-up static hold. So you're gonna stop a push-up position. You're gonna go halfway down and you're gonna hold that spot. So it looks like this, push-up position, halfway down, and I'm holding for 20 seconds. This is much more difficult than you think. Yeah, your chest should be about four to six inches off the floor. After the okay, initial 10 seconds or so to really start to get tough, you may have to go down to your knees. Okay? You may have to go down to your knees for the full 20 seconds. I think elbows should not be flaring out. They should remain relatively close to the body during this hold. Everything else should stay tight, okay? one tight straight line. Your legs, your glutes, your belly, everything straight, tight, and connected. All right, so you'll go through this three times. 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and then take a two minute break and then go through it three more times. Cool, let's take a look at y'all's workout. So we have five rounds of one minute on, two minutes off. This is meant to be a sprint style round where you're giving max effort. And then once you've finished that one minute, you're gonna rest for two full minutes and repeat that cycle five times, all right? So we wanna give really high power output, lots of intensity, then take a long break and repeat that. So we have five air squats, uh, excuse me, six air squats, uh, unbroken and fast. So we're not looking at air squats like this. One, two, it's one, two, three. I, I'm getting after it, I'm moving quickly. I still have depth, I still have posture, but I'm looking for power output. Three, sprawl to tuck jump. So my goal is to sprawl and then Big tuck, knees in front, I'm landing like an athlete every time, okay? Big tuck, boom, land like an athlete every single time. Now you jump as high as you feel comfortable, as long as you're landing softly and athletically, we're all good. You're gonna pick up where you left off at the end of each 
interval. Meaning once you do your one minute, you take your two minute break, you'll pick up where you left off on that previous one minute cycle. Cool? You guys get after it today, all right? If you guys need help with anything, please let me know. See ya.